udah 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 Our stupid reactions, you moron! Why are you even here, you idiot? We love you. I'm Rick. He's Corbin. I'm Corbin. Greetings. And this is our stupid, stupid reactions. reactions. I don't know what we're doing right now. I don't either. <laughs> um. So this is a, another review. We watched Uda Punjab. Uda Punjab. I'm gonna get into it again. Um. Uh, which has been very requested for us to watch. Uh, directed by, say his name for me, please. Abhishek Chavi. Yes. He was the associate director on the uh, McBool and the Right, he the was, Othello he helped one. with those. Yeah, he helped with both of those. Which we have yet to see, but we're going to see there at the top of the list like anything else. Yes. Shahid Kapoor. Shahid. Which we're trying to make sure we pronounce it right because we know a mispronunciation like please let me know totally other word. Shahid or Shahid? Or Shahid or Shahid. Yeah, the, sincerely, the accentuation and if it's Shahid or Shahid. So Yes, please. Please, it's um, important to us. Uh, and obviously, Ali Abad! <laughs> Ali Abad fanboys, hashtag we are. K Karina Kapoor as well. And Karina Kapoor, who we were first introduced to in Three Idiots. Yes. Um, and uh, so this... Film, you want to read these? Uh, sure. Size for me. It's a story that revolves around drug abuse. My nice. sounds. So I never got that. I, I know. know. Well, and I say it's a story that revolves around drug abuse. <laughs> Fun for the whole family. <laughs> I want to read it that way. A story that revolves around drug abuse in the affluent North Indian state of Punjab, and how the youth there have succumbed to it in mass, resulting in a socio-economic decline. <laughs> It's way too uplifting. Exactly. <laughs> Good times. Um, so yeah, this this film. Um, spoiler. Obviously, we're not doing a non-spoiler review. Our reviews are almost always going to be spoilers. So if you haven't seen this, go watch it, then come back. Goodbye. Um, this had one of my favorite openings of any film, honestly. I think ever. Yeah, it was I great. I loved the opening it, of this movie. It was epic because it. <laughs> It was, it was legendary. Just introduced to Tommy. Yeah. <laughs> and he's just doing his thing on stage. Yep. <laughs> and it really helped. I'm glad we got to see this after we'd seen Hater. Yes. Because there's a level of insanity that we saw him in and edginess and unpredictability that you don't get whatsoever in Padmabad. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, he's, he is just chill and so composed, mm -hmm. uh, which is very similar to the way, like that's how we were first introduced to him was in Padmabat and the same way we got Ranveer in Gully Boy. And both Not these saying, guys are Shahid crazy. Kapoor was in Gully Boy. We're saying no, no, Ranveer no. was in Gully Ranveer, Boy. That's how we were introduced to him. Exactly. Sorry, that's, you've been confused before. Exactly. Because we've said <laughs> Ranveer and Ranveer and you're like, you guys don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> but we were introduced to this actor as the, as a really mellow, stoic dude, but yeah. we've now gotten to know him like we did Ranveer. These two guys are firecrackers who are maniacs. Yes, the uh, the opening um, was oh, it was so good. The, the Tommy was just doing his thing on stage, <laughs> and the, the song they were trying to create in the studio, yeah, something about his cock, yeah, like just <laughs> caco caco. <laughs> Oh, I was, oh, I was dying. I, I was too. And then, like, anytime something bad happened, his girlfriend started laughing. Yeah, she was it, great. It just, it cracked me up me too. so much. Um, <laughs> the, the amount, because I had no idea how funny this film would be. Me too. Like, no clue. Especially with the dark subject matter. Which it needed to, to lighten it up. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's it's an awful subject matter. It's awful subject matter. Um, and it, but I... Tragic su subject matter. Yes. Yeah. On multiple levels. Yeah. Uh, especially starting with our second lead in Ali Abad. Mm -hmm. Her story... So freaking heartbreaking. Yeah. It just made me Hard mad. to watch, man. Yeah. Hard... Hard I found film. myself, it's, it's hard to watch any film where they do that to a girl. Mm -hmm. Any film. Mm -hmm. But because I've got such an emotional attachment to Alia now after having seen her in different things, I, I, I was literally having a visceral moment of, don't do that to Alia. You know? 
and it added to the level of impact of watching this character go through what she was going through. The fact that she's this innocent person and she was yep. poor and then she was like, I'm going to yeah. sell this and then she gets... <sighs> like when they abduct, inject her for the first time? Abducted and then they just inject her and Bastards. Then rape her. Bastards. Um, so it was just incredibly difficult, but Alia played it was amazing. The yep. way she played it was so... I mean, I don't know what to call it because it... <laughs> The performance was beautiful. Yeah, but they, first, we're, first word that comes to my mind is honest. Yes, she just was honest. She didn't. She didn't try to play a druggie. Mm -hmm. She just, which those are hard things to do, um, because most actors, I know, yours truly included. If I had to play somebody who strung out on heroin, no way I'm going to take heroin to figure that out. Mm -hmm. So you've got to leave it to the imagination. You got to study. And you have to use whatever you can to try and replicate that. I'm sure she did a lot of homework. Mm -hmm. It shows. I mean, and she did a lot of homework to, mm -hmm. to, to be a realistic junkie. Um, and, and the same thing with him, to have to play somebody who's a coke addict. Yeah. That's, that's not an easy... Those are some things that are hard to portray realistically, especially my thought would be as an actor, I've got to do this well enough that anybody who's ever been strung out on heroin or coke has to believe me all the time or I blew it. Mm -hmm. So I... Uh, I've never been strung out on heroin or coke. Thank God. They, I thought they were beautiful, both of them. Yeah. They, they for me actually were better than the than the film, and I liked the film. But I felt that their performances stood out even above. What the did story. you like about the film? Uh, there were a couple of times, and again, I liked the film. There were a couple of times where the message of the film became a little bit heavy-handed in the proselytizing in the social message it was trying to send. A little bit in a couple spots for me. Where? Uh, the, the specificity would be in moments in the first half of the film, really. In the first half of the film, particularly when we were with Karina uh, and the guy who plays another cop named Sartage. Yes! <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, that was that there, there were moments of wanting the viewer to recognize the tragedy, almost like a don't say no to drugs thing. And that, for me, kind of pulled me away. I wanted to stick strictly to the personal storylines. I know what the filmmaker had to do to try to convey to us that this is a legit problem in this location, mm -hmm. in the same way that Mexico has its issues. It just, it told it to me more than it showed it to me at times. Mm -hmm. And that, that's my only critique of the film that I didn't like. As a whole of the film, I thought the film was extremely good. Mm -hmm. I didn't love the film. This wasn't one of those that I'm like putting it way at the top of my list. Well, I um, don't know maybe if that was a censorship issue because I, I know from what I've people have told me that this ran into a bunch of censorship issues did it. in India. Well, um, one thing that was clearly obvious when he's on stage and he whips it out, uh, that was clearly they had to... Yeah. They, they held back on that. I mean, they didn't even show him from the waist up. That was just at his head. Yeah, and so a lot of people said that like this was like they had to torrent this movie in order in, in, to be able to watch it. Right. That's what a lot of people said. That messaged me when I uh, on Instagram when I showed them that I was watching it. Mm. Uh, they said, yeah, we had to watch this through like torrents because it got so many. It had such um, um, controversy. Interesting. Um, I don't know what the controversy would be. I mean, it's would this would this be on the level for because I know India's censorship for their films is is way stricter than the, the rating system here. Oh yeah, and th would this be on the same level of say like uh, Wolf of Wall Street got a lot of buzz for how graphic and raw it was that it was almost NC seventeen. Mm -hmm. If you're not familiar with that rating, that's one that people don't even make NC seventeens anymore, but it's above rated R. And I wonder if it was this, that kind of controversy where it was like borderline, this film can't even be seen based on the rating system and the censorship board? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, but I, I, that's what a lot of them called us. But I thought this, I thought this film was absolutely, I loved every second of it. I was, I was in it. <laughs> I, I, and uh, I love this character. Of, oh, of, I, of Tommy. I, the two of them for me, ca taking nothing away from Karina's character or the actor. Who's the actor who plays Sartage? Oh. Because they were both extremely solid. Um, Dajit? Is that it? Diljit? Dasanji? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm close, I hope. Uh, very solid. I knew it was coming, by the way. Hmm. When she arrived and his little brother's freaking out. Oh, yeah. After she had said, let's have coffee. 
The minute she showed up, I said out loud, she's dead. Yeah. 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 I figured they would do something like that. She's dead. Um, but the, the sh- uh, Shahid or yeah, Shahid uh, Kapoor. I don't know. Tommy Singh. Sorry. Yeah. I'm, I just, I'm questioning whether that's how you say it. I know. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I thought his performance was amazing. Amazing. I, really. I, I loved every second of it. Yeah. Um, and it was so interesting and different and um, I thought he played it really well um, and I thought the director did really well in terms of um, like so many funny scenes like <laughs> just laugh out loud because like when him and Alia are locking eyes and they're about to and then people just start coming and beating them yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> Just shots like that make me laugh <laughs> so much. You're so macabre. Corey I Miles. am. The only issue I had with this film, and I, it wasn't right away, when it when the end happened, I was like, yes. Yeah, all the I, shooting and the murder and the death. Yeah, and then it was just, the end was Shahid Kapoor running, and he's like, at least give me your name. Right. That, and then it was, I think... His nephew crying or something like that? Or... No, it was Sartaj's little brother. They're looking yeah, at each other. Yeah, they're yeah. looking at each other. Yeah. And then it ended. It just ends with him crying. The sounds like, of him crying. I was like, yes. Yeah, because it didn't this wrap it up in a bow. Is amazing. You, I agree. But then if you kept the screen on, it finished it. Toward after at the end of the credits? Like not in mid credit. Oh, really? Yeah. I get. Um, they. I missed that. Yeah. Uh, the. Uh, this, I mean, it wasn't that up in a bow or anything like that, but you saw um, Shahid Kapoor and Ali Bhatt in Goa Goa mm-hmm. on the beach. Oh. And um, so it's basically like they're dating now. Um, oh. And, uh, and it, I mean, it wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't terrible, but I just, it's not my style. I, I would prefer to not know whether they actually me too. got together. Me too. She just ran away. He, yeah, give me, give me a three billboards ending. Yeah. I, I prefer those types of, but that's the only critique, really. I didn't, every part, other part of this film, I, I really enjoyed, and it was just... Yeah, and my only critique was the moments where it felt like a um, just say no campaign. And there, were, there was only a few of them. Yeah. And it was at the first half. Um, but, as, but still, I think, and I've watched, you know, it's hard not to watch a film like this and compare it to other films we've seen with people who are strung out, like Robert Downey Jr., early in his career, Forgot the name of the film, but he he plays a druggie, uh, and there's been a lot of films here that we're exposed to in America cinema that tell you the story of people who have been strung out, and they're pretty. I mean, some of them are just downright hard to watch, mm-hmm. much harder than this was to watch. Even though this has some hard moments, um, I I I there was a bit of that you know don't do drugs kind of thing that was just too much for me, and I felt their performances those two were that's the reason to watch the film for me mm-hmm. not necessarily the story although I will say it did evoke in me a desire to want to know we had no idea about anything going on with like when we started watching Sacred Games we were like is there really if there's got to be this corruption element <laughs> in politics connected to the mafia and everything else same thing with Gangs of Wasifer mm-hmm. didn't know there was this big of a problem of yeah. uh, drugs in this region uh, in, comparable in, to Mexico in Punjab and that they didn't want to become a Mexico because Mexico is rough. Lots of parts. To s- say the least. Yeah. Um, but yeah. They, if you haven't seen Sicario, um, that'll yeah. give you a taste of what things are like in Mexico. Yeah. And also I want to talk about the, the makeup. I thought the makeup was really... Cause they I'm made, glad you brought that up. They made Alia look so different. I'm so glad <laughs> you brought that up. The makeup on her to make her look like that girl who's been working outside and um, uh, just made her look so different. And... Her journey through the drugs mm. as well as his some baggy eyed moments and some other and at the end little moments like when Karina gets jabbed in the neck mm. and the blood is pumping out of her neck awesome and then the other person the, the guy that uh, who gets shot and then the blood just starts to flow out of those are hard yeah. to make realistic mm-hmm. I thought the makeup in this was top notch yeah I love top notch I love the ending where everybody just kind of oh died. it was Tarantino ass I know I loved it it yeah. was, made me so happy I did too but also it was really good. one last thing I want to say is that this is one of my favorite scores 
Oh yeah, in any film. Absolutely agree. This was an amazing, a score. fantastic. Like, score. Most of these songs you could put on any place and work out to. Yeah, fantastic score. Um, and <laughs> just and believable the whole time, except for those moments for me where it got kind of don't do drugs messaging. It was very believable. Alia has the capacity to portray cathartic um, moments emotionally. Uh, she she had to have been exhausted doing this film. Oh, yeah, the amount she cried and yeah. the amount she had to just like obviously she had to act exhausted because she was being raped all the time. Yeah, it's like it's. A, I'd love to hear them talk about the portrayals a, and what a, this did to them emotionally, like, tough head, physically, to tough head space to be to, in. To be in. Um, but yeah, his, his character. This is probably. The character I'm most suited to play, if like, seriously, what could you play? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, this is probably the character I could play. One hundred percent, almost right now. Mm -hmm. um, you could step into it, like if someone wanted to do a version of this, uh, and just like make an American. And I would love to. Version, you could. This is an amazing character. Yep, I love it so yep. much. Um, and uh, love Sh Shahid Kapoor. Yep. Uh, <laughs> well, he's quickly becoming one of my favorites. And the great thing about him is his acting, like most everybody that we've seen that we like, this is an easy role to screw up. Oh, yeah. Really easy role to screw up because you could step into this role and just show people what this is. He had to personalize this stuff, and he did. I believed him a hundred... That was a, one of my favorite moments for him was when he can't go on stage because mm. he's, not, he's not up on anything, right? And he's, he's, he's like, I'm going to have to go perform not high for the first time, and I don't know that I can do this. And it's a brother as it were who throws him this, and he's having the great direction in that scene too the little flashback of him shooting and then looking in the toilet and he has that revelation first it's the shooting and he throws the cocaine away and then he I am the what is it I think something but Dang it. it means like Mr. Yeah I'm, I'm the man yeah. it's a basic saying I'm the man and then he runs and he screams where is it right. and just those little moments as well as the help me kill myself when they're first talking yeah, with each other. That was I was expecting. I was like, what? Yeah, they're just they're just that, both such the, honest. The scenes, especially when with Alia and um, Shahid, are so oh, good. I want to see especially more of their work together. Like when they're um, when they were met each other, mm -hmm. um, wherever they were. When he was running away from the concert, right, and he, he met Alia for the yep, first for the time. first time, and um, he said, "Let me hide." Yeah, yeah. That whole scene was brilliant. Brilliant. Up to like, especially like when the they, even when they started coming and beating him, and she was beating up on them. But yeah, then they took her away, and then yeah, yeah. I loved this movie. Beautiful I thought it work. was an amazing movie. Beautiful. Thank work. you so much. Yeah. For the recommendations. Yep. And uh, let us know what we should watch and review next. Uda boom jump, uda boom jump, uda 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 boom jump, 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 uda boom